Well, hey guys, how are you today? Um, I just wanted to encourage you. The Lord woke me up this morning and he wanted me to read the message of the day, the Bible app on my Holy Bible. Um, so I wanna encourage you. I also wanna let you know that um, Jesus is doing major things. It's actually really exciting. A lot we have found in his word and just revelation after revelation. And he is coming. I do not want you guys to lose faith and, and doubt or lose heart. Um, there's been a lot of uh, people out there, you know, stirring up stuff, but I will tell you, Jesus has put us together. He has called more and more people um, to our ministries and combined with other ministries. And now we have 12. Not a coincidence, I don't think. Um, it's amazing how Jesus works and how all of the people in the ministry literally line up on the Maseroth perfectly. God's calendar and the birthdays and it's just unbelievable. But I wanna encourage you because I'm supposed to lead you to, um, in our group, the last prophet, okay? So he spoke to me and he gave me the last instructions on June 16th, the last message. He spoke to Cassie and said there were no more messages. And he spoke to Sean and Anna from Honey from the Lion and um, Kind Words. So that was our group. Now there's one more who's speaking on behalf of the Lord and she is closing it down basically. So he told me yesterday, he's been speaking to me every day, um, but he's, I speak the messages to the group for encouragement and they're all starting to get you know messages from the Lord as well as we grow and bond together it's it's pretty amazing and so we're all speaking but lots of lots is coming we're still waiting on the pre wrath to be complete um, but he did give us a revelation you know the the 12 fruits he actually named us like what what fruit we were and everything and he called one of the girls Segriana and he said it was like sangria with the, the fruits in the cup. And when all the, the fruits are completed in the cup, you know, they're fermenting the wine, the wine skins, making brand new our heavenly bodies since we lifted off in the spirit in June 17th, 522. Um, so all of that is in the Bible. It's like Colossians 2, Ephesians 2, and then there's more um, I wrote it on my YouTube page that I think Deuteronomy 8 was one of them and Genesis, but it talks about being absent um, with the spirit. Um, anyway, I, I don't figure out the revelations. I just, I just say the words, you know, that's why he paired me with people because they can figure it out because he doesn't give me revelations on anything, but he has been speaking and he has been giving them scriptures and everything. So it's really beautiful. And Jesus has no favors. He's just using people for his end times and all unsealed in Daniel 12. <laughs> it's, it's really amazing. But I know people out there, you know, the Lord let me know that um, you guys are getting restless and weary. And, you know, he, this is his way of encouraging you. So this is the message of the day. It was Psalm 27, 1 through 14. The Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger, so why should I tremble? When evil people come to devour me, when my enemies and foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple. For he will conceal me there when troubles come. He will hide me in his sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. Then I will hold my head high above my enemies who surround me. At his sanctuary, I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy, singing and praising the Lord with music. Hear me as I pray, O Lord. Be merciful and answer me. My heart has heard you say, come and talk with me. And my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. Do not turn your back on me. Do not reject your servant in anger. 
You have always been my helper. Don't leave me now. Don't abandon me, O oh God, of my salvation. Even if my father, even if my father and mother abandon me, the Lord will hold me close. See, he always uses the things that are happening in my life to reflect the message of the day is how he speaks to me. And I'm sure this can help other people who are going through the same thing. Teach me how to live, O Lord. Lead me along the right path, for my enemies are waiting for me. Do not let one fall into their hands, or I'm sorry, do not let me fall into their hands, for they accuse me of things I've never done. <sighs> Fly. With every breath, they threaten me with violence. Yet I am confident I will see the Lord's goodness while I am here in the Lord of the living. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. Okay, guys, that was the message of the day. And the prophet that is speaking now, he told me yesterday, soon she's going to have her last message as well. And then that is when after that shortly after that that is when he's going to come after all of it is complete and now that we have all the 12 fruits together it is getting closer to being complete and her name is melissa and her page is a voice calling dash cl one ri and i'm going to put it in the message description as well but guys the lord knows your struggles he knows that you guys are patiently waiting on him and you know he he put that on my heart this morning he woke me up and he spoke he spoke my fruit it was grapes <laughs> which was really cool <laughs> but anyway so then he like let me know what the other ones were as well and how they combine in the cup and then for the wedding feast it's all i don't know it's it's amazing and beautiful and it's so hard to explain and I'm just so grateful and thankful for Jesus. I love him. He's my Lord and Savior. I claim that he came to earth in the flesh. He bled on the cross. He died for our sins. And he rose on the third day. He was born of a virgin. God is so amazing. And he has so many blessings for his people who believe in him and confide in him and trust in him. It is literally your childlike faith and his grace. And you believe in him with all of your heart and he's going to save you he wishes for not one to perish which is why he's giving that last minute of repentance repentance is a change of mind leading away from your sin and trusting in jesus to change you anyway guys i love you so much and i'm sorry i know people keep asking me to to post more messages but i have to be obedient to jesus and you know he gave his last letter to his church and um i th he wants me to point you in the direction of melissa so follow her page i'm going to put her in the description she's giving the last messages to the lord um and there's other ones you know that are messengers getting words from the lord encouraging the body of christ like shirley lies and um other ones out there you know that the lord has put in that position i'm just referring to the 12 that he put us together with. I don't know what the Lord is doing, but he's doing something amazing. And wow, I can, it's like, it's like he gave us a new family, you know, to encourage us from all the people that come against us every day, because there's a lot of people coming against us. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even like, just not even do a prophecy and people come against me. So but it's okay, I'm praying for them and I just, I pray that the Lord opens their eyes and wakes them up because Jesus is coming. You know, people can be asleep and not believe he's coming, but he's definitely coming. And you know, it's on his time, his time he is perfect and pleasing. And thankfully he's not giving me any more dates. <laughs> okay guys. Have a blessed day. I love you very much. Ignore the people on YouTube trying to scam you, pretending to be me. God bless.